Alright, I got these two packages in the mail. Now, if you want to support me and um, want to see more of these unboxings, well then click here, up here in the top right corner. That, if you click that, that will let you donate money. Um, so that I can buy more puzzles, have more unboxings and reviews. And this pop package, yellow one, should contain one very special puzzle. And then this one, and this one, it's a cheap generic 3x3. Um, I mainly bought it just because it looks interesting and I wanted to try it out. And plus, if, plus I also thought, you know what, buy it for one of my friends for a day, which is coming up very soon. But I don't remember exactly when it was when it's coming up, but, yeah. Um, with this particular cube, the seller, um, sent me a message on eBay saying that she couldn't sell it, um, meant send it out, um, because of family, um, issues, but then she, I told her, you know what, I'll wait, because I do want to try this out, and I don't want to get a refund or something like that. So, I waited, and she did send it out. And this is the puzzle. Nothing else in there. Yeah, this is the puzzle. Very interesting packaging. It said Magic Cube. Well, yeah, it's sort of what I expected. Cheap generic dollar store crap cube. Yep. And now, onto this package. I know one of my friends who is really into the, um, the brand of this puzzle. And I've told him about this puzzle. And he's excited to see me unbox it. And this is a rare puzzle that cannot be found. It can be found, but not that easily anymore. And this is the original first ever model of 3x3 that Gans came out with. Way before the Gans 3 that we know of today with the octopus core. And this had a special um, feature in it that I will show you. But really, wow, that is really... Then they pack it. Yes. Yes, I like this even better. Plus. Plus with it. Even better. Let me go ahead and wipe this all off. All the styrofoam off of it. I tried wiping off as much as I could, but it's apparently underneath that. So, what this particular 3x3 is, it's the original GAN 3x3 that first came out. The very first ever model. Now, I saw it on eBay a while ago, and when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I immediately had to buy it. And if you can see in there, there's the GANS logo. And the GANS logo on the yellow side. But the yellow, yeah, it's a bit tan. And first turn of it.
Wow, it's not a, that bad of a cube, it's a decent cube. And now, what makes this cube very special, it combines um, the feature of uh, a stickerless cube like this one, a regular sticker cube like this one, and and combined features of this type of puzzle where it had embedded plastic pieces on here. Um, because when you take apart this, look on the inside, you can see here, it sickled on the inside. So, how this works, it works like that. Yeah, it works like that. And you get all back together. And this has not been applied to many other 3x3s that I know of. This is like the only 3x3 that I know of that has this feature of having a secret cube like this one. And plus, having a secret list like this, um, that means, one, you can use it in a competition. Versus like a secret cube like this one, where when you, um, turn it like this, you don't use, with a regular secret cube, you see two different colors, but on this one, you only see one color around it. And the turning of it is not that too terribly bad. It's a bit tight on certain sides. Um, and yeah. But currently, right now, it locks up, um, has some locking up issues. But when I loosen it, break it in, tension and loosen, and stuff like that, that will probably help fix with the lockup. Maybe. I'm not sure. But it does have a really interesting um, sound to it. So it sounds like sandpaper. So this is my unboxing of these two puzzles.